Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, so let's take a look again on the Forex market, so on your currency today. It's not many things to talk about. Actually, the market is showing the first pullback, but it hasn't reached the first level. And on the intraday charts, we do not have something really special. So yesterday, we talked about the resistance area. If you remember, here is confidence. So said market, the first touch probably will show the pullback, and then we will see what will happen. Because it, as we already discussed, this mostly, this run after the C point is a result of the Fed minutes publication. There's also some earnings release. And currently, is the time of the earnings releases in the United States and Europe. So it also supports the market currently as banks show very good performance in recent quarter. And uh, that supports the dollar rivals. And euro is not an exception. But currently, we still do not have something really special. So we said we need to get either this pattern with the retracement back down somewhere to the 115.60, 115.70 area for a position taken. It's currently market stands either on, on the way to the upside or before retracement. It's not clear yet, but it's still struggling with the resistance. And here I do not see a lot of things to comment. That's why I think maybe we'll take a look at something else. So, on, uh, for example, on Australian dollar. An Australian dollar shows very nicely looking performance. Uh, if you remember previously, we have traded last time, actually, we have traded this a head and shoulders pattern. Market accurately hits the ultimate target and the XOP now it stands in the bounce. So um, on the vehicle chart, trend also stands bullish. And currently you can see that dollar index stands at resistance. All dollar rivals shows more or less upper reduction. It's the, it uh, stands on the gold, on the euro currency. Great British pound currently as well, so everything shows the pullback. And Australian dollar is not an exception. Well, it has some own problems and uh, background. It's in the China relation currently, another thing, but it also stands in the same tendency. At the same time, on Australian dollar, at least currently on the higher time frames, it seems that downward action is not over yet totally. So theoretically, we still could get some a bit deeper action before trend will change. If you remember on Australian dollar, we're waiting for a big reverse hand and shoulder special. So, uh, and that might be just the part of the downward action. At least currently, we have some interesting moments here. So first of all, market is forming the ABCD pattern. Uh, its target stands around 75.30. Very close to the broken neckline, previous lows. It's also fib resistance 75.90 area. And market could complete the ABCD pattern forming guardless triple to sell. Currently, uh, CD leg stands slower than AB. And this is a good sign for taking the short position because it might be either deeper retracement or reversal. So usually when the CD leg is slower, it is uh, more sign on the possible reversal. In our case, it will be the possible starting of the downside continuation of the major tendency here. At least this is the point to keep an eye on. So alternative scenario that we could get here is a butterfly. So if market will not be able to complete the ABCD and turn down immediately, in this case, that could become the left wing of the butterfly and that could become the right wing of the butterfly. So these two ways how you could treat the current situation. So for taking the short position, you could uh, followed a couple of things so I either to wait for cartilage triple to sell will be will set in place and will stops above the 76 you could try to sell if you ready to take a bit more risk then you could split the position for instance you could possess yourself with a butterfly currently with the same stop above it and if market somehow will still keep going higher in this case you could then end more with this triple to sell with the placing the same stop. Or 
if butterfly will start to form, you could try to take position on, on some pullback, minor pullback, if downward action will, will start. So that is a uh, few options that you could follow depending on your risk sensitivity. So how you prefer to trade. On the lower time frame here, market stands in the upside ABCD pattern. Has hit the XOP, it actually was minor hand and shoulders, the reaction on our daily target. So here was hand and shoulders has been formed here and the market showing up reaction. So XOP is done. But as we know, uh, actually this might be, speaking about the butterfly, this might be the reversal point because head and shoulders target is completed and potentially as the butterfly potentially could be formed here, market stands very close to the previous top. So this is a perfect point for standing on the right wing if our direction will start. But as we said in the beginning of the video that market stands in upper direction, dollar index stands in retracement out from the resistance, that might be also just a pullback. Here, before market will continue upper direction to complete daily ABCD patient. So from that standpoint, it seems that, well, this level looks very um, suitable for possible upper continuation. So if market indeed stands bullish and intends to complete the daily ABCD, 73.60 area, the conference support should be, uh, well, enough probably to support market and to uh, let them to turn up again to complete the daily target. Definitely, it should not move below the 73 because this will be previous neckline and overall consolidation. And when the market stands on the way up to the OP and it stands very close to the target because uh, it till, till the OP is very small distance here, it should not show deep retracement. So if your market will drop below 73, it's very difficult to count on the possible reaching the OP mid later. So it will be quite different pattern in this way. And... Um, well, it doesn't correspond just to the overall logic of the ABCD action. So that's two levels to keep an eye on. Uh, scalp traders, maybe if you're intent to get the OP completed, you could consider taking the long position maybe. So this is also a way. But currently, as you can see, Australian dollar looks a bit more interesting than in Europe because a few options here exist for the trading. Uh, different patterns could be formed. And uh, well, this is something that we could keep an eye on that could let us uh, to make some interesting trades here.